How can I set up my email templates? This is actually a pretty simple process. Under the settings section, if your sitemap is to set to default and templates, you'll find email templates along with article templates, contract templates, and mail merge templates. We're going to look, at, in this case, at email templates, templates specifically. We're going to create a new email template from scratch. I'm going to make it associated to the account so that I can add some account-specific fields to my e email template automatically. I make it a little bit like an email mail merge, if you will. So we'll call this test account template. And what we're going to do is from the account, we're going to send an email to the primary contact um, with some pre-prescribed fields so that I can show you how the template will work and you can adapt, adapt this to your own business uses. So in the subject, how are things at? And then what we're going to do is we're going to insert a record from the account that we're on. And so what I'd like to do is I'd like to um, go up to this button that says insert and update. And this is a little bit like adding a, uh, connection, a connection of data in a workflow. Um, so here's my data field value section. I'm going to add a new one. I'm going to make it related to the account. And it, it, the account name is what I want because that's going to be hopefully the company name. So how are things at ABC Sprocket Company, for example. And I'm going to click OK. So now if I send out this template, from an account as an email from CRM or from Outlook CRM, I apply a template um, and I set the email regarding an account. It'll automatically put in how are things at ABC Sprocket Company. I can build up my next email and it'll be CDE, or how are things at CDE Company, and so on. And I can just, without having to type out the full name of the company each time, just start sending out emails with a little bit of template go templating going on. So hello and then what I'll do is I'll insert a new piece of custom data and add and under the account what I'm going to look for is the primary contact and that'll be a person's name and it's important to have all the information filled in um, and in the event that there isn't a primary contact's name we could say hello there so if there isn't a primary contact, it'll say hello there. If there is a primary contact name, it would say hello Jane Doe. Just wanted to check in and see how things are at. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the account name again, kind of like I did in the uh, subject edit. I'm sorry, add account account name, perfect, okay. Is there anything I can do to help you out? Question mark. And then what we'll do is we'll add in a dynamic field again, insert, and this is related to the user, is what we're going to do this time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my name my full name. So this would be a little bit like an email signature. You may not need to do this because you'll have an email signature that automatically gets stamped on your emails as they're sent out by your exchange server. But it's a nice little trick. And I might put in my phone number. And what I'll do is I'll save this. And I'm going to save and close. And now I have my new test account template. And what I can do is while I'm on an account, so now I'm on my account, I go to my activities. I'm going to add a new email. We'll do to Conrad um, search. I'm going to select my account because I know that my template was an account-based template. And now I can insert my template. 
and here's my test account template select allow access so I've inserted my template from me to this particular company and you can see my subject has automatically been updated with how my template worked where it's how are things at my company name with the pound pound and then if we go down to our message hello and then this is a little awkward because I'm the same user as who is the primary contact on my test company but hello Conrad Teal has automatically been filled in for me here's my company name how are things at the company and then my thanks very much and then apparently I don't have a main phone number filled in in this test system but it would fill in here we'd want to change this um, and make sure all of our users have main phone numbers or that just like we did um, up here where it would say hello there as alternate text if there wasn't information that there would be some generic mainline uh, receptionist answered phone number set 